All right, we are going to find the next greater element. So given an array, uh, print the next greater element for every element. The next greater element for an element is the first greater element on the right side of, of it in the array. So elements for which no greater element exists get a next greater element of negative one. So if we do an example of 13, 7, 6, and 12, then we can say that the next greater element of 13 is negative 1 because it doesn't have a next greater element. Uh, 7 is 12, 6 is, is also 12, and 12 is negative 1. All right, and so to do this, we're going to utilize a stack um, so that uh, we can keep track of the elements as we see them and then as we first encounter their next greater element. All right, so what we're going to do is start out with our function. Okay, and it's going to take in an array. Okay, so first we'll just check to make sure the array has uh, items in it. Okay, there is no. Um, else, if the array just has one item in it, it's one, then we can just print the NGE of. Right, it's zero. Is actually going to say is negative one because it would be automatically negative one if there's only one element in the array. Okay, otherwise we can go into our algorithm. And so what we want to do first is we can go ahead and make a stack of ints. Um, just call it S to be simple. Stack of ints. Okay, and then we can go ahead and push the first element of the array um, into the stack so that we have a starting off point. And then what we want to do is look and we're going to kind of peek at our stack as we loop through each element in the array. And then according to um, whether it's greater than or equal to or less than, we will um, assign it appropriately as next greater element or keep pushing. So um, first we want to kind of do a loop that we're going to loop through one time of our array. Plus, and then, okay, so within this, um, the first thing we want to check is see if, if the array at I, oh, and we're going to actually start this, we can start this at one since we already pushed the first element of the array in. So that way we can just do this check if array at I is less than, um, if it's less than or equal, to the top element in the stack. 
then we know that that, that element is not the, the next greatest element of the previous element. So in that case, we would push it onto the stack so that we can hopefully find the next greatest element later. So, um, so we push that onto the stack. Oops, we need to actually say that we are pushing this element into the stack. Okay, so otherwise the other scenario is that the array of the current element um, is greater than the peak. So let's go ahead and account for that. If array at i is greater than s dot peak, then we know that it's the next greatest element for the top element in our stack. Um, so we want to go ahead and print that out that it's the next greatest one, but what we wanna also do is check the elements prior to that that are in the stack that haven't found their next greatest to see if they're also a candidate. So um, we can loop in here and then just while there's still items in the array, so while the count of our stack is equal is not equal to zero, um, and while s dot peak is still less than the rear at i, because if we're greater than, then we know that 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 we haven't found the next greatest elements. So. Um, we can then no, that. So while that, um, we can print out these assignments accordingly. Um, NGE uh, of array at i. Oh no, sorry, we're gonna pop them actually. So s dot pop, because we don't want them on there once we've assigned them their next greater element. Um, so s dot pop, and that is array at i, which is our current element we were working with. Okay, so that will print all of those out and pop them all off as we go. And then um, after we do that, we wanna get the current element that we've been working with onto the stack because that one hasn't found its next greatest element yet. So we need to get it on there so that it can be processed. Okay, so that is the other scenario when array at i is greater than the peak. Um, and then the other scenario would be that we get to the end of the array and then whatever elements are still in the stack are the ones that are going to be equal to negative one. And that includes the last element of the array. So, um, so if, um, if I equals array dot length minus one, that means we're at the end of the array um, and we wanna be careful to make sure we're including that last element in the array in this if statement. Um, then while there are still elements in our stack, we're going to write them out as assigned to negative one. Okay, it is. Um, and actually, we could just include this. It, it is negative one. Okay, so I think we've taken care of all the different possible scenarios. 
got our else, we've got our end of function. Okay, so now we can go in and test this out. So we've got our just our array here. I'll write it bigger over here, 13, 7, 6, and 12. Okay, so first things first. If array.length equals zero, um, it does not, so we skip that. Else, if array.length equals one, it does not, so we can skip that. Otherwise, we're going to go into our algorithm. We create a stack. Let's go ahead and have our stack that we're keeping track of. We also are going to go into a loop, so we have an i to keep track of. Um, so let's go ahead and go through this. So I is the first in our stack, uh, we're pushing a rate at zero. So we push 13 and actually I'm going to draw this from the bottom up just so it's easier. So we'll put the 13 down here and then we go into our for loop and I starts at one and it's less than a rate out length and our length is one, two, three, four. So we'll just put a little four there to remember. Okay, so one is less than four. So we go in, if array at i is less than or equal to s dot peak. So if array at i, which is at seven, is less than or equal to peak, which it is less than or equal to, then it says s dot push array at i. So we push seven onto this stack. Okay, and then it doesn't meet these other conditions. So i plus plus, i is now two, two is less than four. Um, if array at i, which is six, is less than s dot peak, we're gonna push onto the stack, so we push the six. Okay, and then else if we don't hit that one, if, if i equals array dot length minus one, which it does not, then um, i plus plus. So i is now three, three is less than four. So if array at i is less than or equal to s dot peak, so if 12 is less than or equal to, which it's not, so that we go to our else if, else if array at i is greater than s dot peak, which it is, mm -hmm. then while s dot count is not equal to zero, so we do still have items in the stack, and s dot peak is less than array at i, Okay, so six is still less than 12. Then console.write NGE of, okay, so we're gonna write NGE, this will be our output. NGE of six, and at that moment that's been popped, is array at I, which is 12. Okay? And then s dot push array at i. Oh wait, no, sorry. We got to go through our while again because our count is still not equal to zero, and our peak is still less than array at i. So um, then we look at the seven, and we console dot right line n g e of seven is, and we're still at array of i is twelve. Okay, so now count is not equal to zero, and let's see, s dot peak is less than array i. Well, 13 is not less than 12, so we break out of our while loop, then we push the 12. And then if i equals array dot length minus one, which it does, because three is equal to three, because length is four. Um, so while that condition, s so while s dot count is greater than zero, so we still have elements in the in the stack, then we console dot write n g e of and we pop the twelve. Twelve is negative one, and s dot count is still greater than zero, so n g e of thirteen is negative one. Okay, so now we're equal to zero in our stack, so we hit out of our while. We go up, I plus plus, I is now four. Four is not less than four, so we break out of our for loop, and that is the end of our program. And we have now 
correctly printed out the next greatest element of each element in the array. Um, and this algorithm is done in uh, O of N time because it goes through the array one time. Um, so O of N and it is done in O of N space because we are worst case creating a second stack, the same number of elements as N. Um, so you could say that that our time is O of 2n, worst case, because we would be going through the array twice, once to put it in the stack, and then again as we take it out of the stack and compare it to the next greatest elements. Okay, so that's time and space. Okay.